Tell me something. How does this make you feel? Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel surprised? Does it make you feel angry? What if I told you I knew how you were feeling without you having to say it? That I could see hundreds of micro expressions rippling across your face. That I could understand them, react to them. What if I told you this was already happening today? Hi, this is me, your narrator, and this is Rana El Kayubi. Rana is the co-founder and CEO of Affectiva, a tech company that teaches technology how to read and respond to your emotions. Emotional intelligence has been ingrained in storytelling since the dawn of time. You're using your face to express emotion, but you're also looking at your audience's facial expressions and adapting the story in real time. If they're interested, you keep going. If they're not, you change the course of the story, what we now call reactive narrative. This is Rana's interview playing for an audience. Like your entertainment today, however, the interview does not react to your emotions. It's recorded, frozen in time. That's what Ron is changing. So in the past, storytelling was very fluid, but today, if you think about most of the content we consume, it's not adaptive. Today's technology has lots of IQ, but no EQ. Lots of cognitive intelligence, but no emotional intelligence. So that got me thinking, what if our technology could sense our emotions? You see, with emotionally intelligent technology, interfaces are replaced with faces. What if two people had entirely different experiences watching the same content, all based on how they felt? That's where responsive media comes in. For example, let's say a whole family loves mysteries, but dad is really grossed out by all the blood. Mom loves it. Hal likes all the romantic scenes, even though he says he doesn't. So dad's version is a little light on the blood and heavier on the comedy. Mom's is a complete bloodbath, and Hal's is a sweeping love story. And so in that world, what if our entertainment could react to our emotions in real time? What if a story could be personalized based on how you're feeling? And I think that creates an entire new industry, really, for incorporating emotions into your digital experience. Imagine stories reacting to your emotions, endings changing depending on the characters you're interested in. Soon, our stories will be just as dynamic as life itself. Living, breathing, emotionally intelligent, an infinite number of personalized narratives, all based on how you feel. You see, you won't just experience stories. Your stories will evolve through you. So tell me something. How, How do you, you feel? feel?